Today we're collecting time. And my goal is to collect so much time that we break the universe entirely. In other words, we clicked 100 times, we could buy a sundial, so now we get 2.1 per second without me having to click. And if I bring up the menu on the right, we can spend $15, I can increase my power of clicks. And I can do that again already, so we're 4 per click. But we're already made another $100. And then when I touch some of the floating things going by, we make more money, so we're going to get 10 time bucks per second. The terms in this are going to get really confusing. Whatever the case, we're making 22.4 whatever's per second. 22.4 seconds per second? We can increase the clock speed by 50% as well. I'm not really sure if that has a big change on things. And since I'm doing a lot of clicking, we're going to increase the clicking by two. We're getting eight per click at this point. Okay, every time the bar at the bottom goes by, these show up and that's where we get our money. So now we're making 43 per second and we've got a lot of time pieces to go through. We're only on the hourglass. And I just thought that there's an achievement for 1000 clicks, so we should be there before you know it. Also, since I'm going to be doing a lot of clicking, we're just going to keep increasing the clicking. 16 now, so it's pretty quick for us to make $1,000. And we pass the thing again, another $2,000, so we're going to spend that on an hourglass or two. Now we're up to 63 per second without me having to click. Well, at least now we're skipping like a quarter of the clock at a time. I guess it'd be the equivalent of 16 seconds. And we can increase clock speed again for $4,000. I'm still not really sure what the point of that is, if it makes uh, the per second thing go off more often. Which would be perfectly fine by me, uh, especially because these things are going to get expensive. That's getting into the like septillions. But I've got time if you do. Maybe I should play with the sundial for a second to see if there's any bonuses at 10 or anything. So 9, 10. There's not. If that's okay, we got a few extras per second. If we buy a few more of these, actually we're getting close to 100 per second. And after this, we actually will be 100 per second. So then as I click away, we're saving up the $10,000 we need for whatever a water clock is. And our meter filled up again. There's another 2,000-ish dollars. And that's actually enough for the water clock. Now we get an extra 120 per second, so we've doubled our uh, earnings. Next, we're trying to buy a fire clock. I don't know what a fire clock is, but if that's a real thing, can someone send me one? Oh, and there's 100 clicks. 1,000 clicks. But we are now getting 32 per click, so we're saving up the money pretty quickly. We're already at 22,000, so I'm going to buy another one of these. That's going to give me like a 50% income boost. I just don't like having things there that I can buy that I don't. I'm a clicker by nature. Uh, and I can use my auto clicker, which does make it go a lot quicker, so we might do that a little bit at some point. And these showed up again. I can just see my auto clicker going. It makes a different sound when I'm on the edge. Okay, when I click this fast, it makes the clock go really quickly, so I get lots of bonuses. So it does actually make me think that this uh, makes the bonuses happen more often, because I think it's just a matter of circling the clock. Maybe every hour we get a bonus? No, it's more than that, so I don't know. But I think the faster the clock goes, the faster we get these bonuses, which help out a little bit. They're not huge. But we saved up $50,000. We can buy another uh, the power of clicking, so we've doubled our clicking power to 64. So even without the auto clicker, it moves pretty quick. And I guess as long as the water clock costs less than one fourth of this, it's worth it to buy. Math is fun, kids. So we'll do one more of those as soon as we can afford it. Now four of those at that price would be about one fire clock, so we could probably buy one or two more to justify it, but then it'll get too expensive to be worth it anymore. They give you 120 per second, so I'm actually doing this wrong. Fire clock it is. We'll just go ahead and auto click our way there. But we're up to $705 a second already, so that's moving pretty quickly. And these bonuses got bigger. I think I got an achievement, so then now they give us about 900 times 5, so 4,500. But we're definitely able to afford the fire clock, so that's going to give me an extra 1,000 per second. So we went from 700 to 1,700. Uh, another bubble similar clock just gave me about 10,000, 2,000 each. So I don't know if those are upgrading with my clocks or how that works. 2,150 times 5, so that's starting to be pretty good earnings. We're also going to increase the clock speed again. Look at it go now. By the end, the clock's going to break. It's going to be spinning so quick. Look at all the bonuses we're getting. And then ticking along, there's another fire clock, so that's roughly 50% more earnings, which is huge. And at this point, it's worth it to save up straight for the pressure gauge, because that's going to give me 5,000 per second. I could buy two and a half time clocks. That would give me two and a half thousand for the same price. Oh, and thanks to my auto clicker while I was explaining that we saved up enough. So 2,700 to 7,700 per second. Suddenly it feels like we're cheating because we're making so much money. But I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, these things are now worth about $10,000 each. We get $50,000 every time we get a bonus. And apparently so far we've gone through two days and 12 hours. We're also going to increase our clicking power by two times, so now we're getting 128 per click that quickly. Uh, at this point, I think it is actually worth it to buy more pressure gauges. They're one third of the price of this, and they give you one half the value. 13,000 per second currently. We're going to buy that because that's reasonably cheap still. Then the clock's going to move even quicker for even more bonuses. And then it's time to buy another pressure gauge, and now I think we're going to have to start going for these pretty soon. Because if we can't buy three of these for the price of this, it's better just to buy the round wall clock. 
And I mean, it's only 750,000, so why would we not buy that? We're making that very quickly now. Even the bonus gives us $100,000 and even more now thanks to that. $30,000 a second. So even though it's regular clicking, we've made a million dollars in no time at all. So we could buy another one of these for sure. Now up to 40,000 per second. I decided to go for a swim in a pool of coffee for a few hours. We have $307 million. So the first thing we're going to do is increase our clock speed and bubble bonus. And then also increase our clicking by two, let's call it four times. Mostly because the next one is 150 million, but now we're getting 1,000 per click. And we're going to buy some round wall clocks, and that's going to put our earnings up to 70,000 per second. But because we're so rich, we're also going to buy an alarm clock. That's going to add 120,000 per second. So that's basically tripled our income from that point. Okay, I'm going to increase my clicking power by two times again, because that's going to be my bread and butter for a while. 2,000 per click. And then even faster clock speed times two. Look at it go now. Then we're just going to go ahead and buy a square wall clock, because we're going to buy two of those. Then we're up to 3 million a second. And that's all I've ever really wanted millions of dollars per second i'm a simple man and that's quickly gotten us enough to buy yet another wall clock so 4.6 million per second and if i'm auto clicking you can just watch the mini go up there's 61 million 66 million we get like 5 million a second plus all these which are now up to uh 30 million dollars themselves okay i guess we'll buy the better bonus bubble thing i assume that's there for a reason it's got to be worth it the more clock speed again look at that thing go i want these hands spinning so fast it flies off and breaks okay now we're getting 7.4 each bubble so that was you know almost 40 million dollars and we're gonna buy another wall clock times two we're making money so stupidly quick but it's definitely gonna be worth it at this point to buy the next one 50 million per second we're only making 7.6 currently i'm not really sure what just happened to my clock but it changed to this one i'm not gonna complain that's a new visual to start while i endlessly click we're gonna buy the timer now 50 million per second so we just multiplied our earnings by like seven eight times which means when we click on these now wow that's almost 500 million dollars 1.1 billion we're officially billionaires which means we get more clicking and more clock speed <laughs> look at that clock go now the minute hand is moving faster than the second hand used to and we're getting 4,000 per click which now that i think about it is nowhere near the amount we're making per second up here anyway even if i manage to click 10 times per second that's only 40,000. this is 57.6 million so i'm probably not going to be doing this clicking and more just sort of supervising at this point but I'm going to buy more timers times two. So now we're up to 160 million per second. And look at that clock go. And we're making a billion dollars every 10 seconds or so. So that feels pretty good. I guess for the $5 billion, we're going to increase the clock speed another 50%. And now the second hand is warping around. Oh, I guess the clicking does get us a bonus at the bottom. So maybe that's how we justify it. Because I've used my auto clicker that goes along. Then the bubbles are going to show up. And then they're going to be worth 200. So we get 1.25 billion there, which still isn't much. I mean, if we keep, keep increasing the clicking power, maybe eventually it'll start to catch up. But right now it's hard to justify. That's only $8,000 per click. But all I have to do is zone out for like two seconds. And then we have the $8 billion we need for a wristwatch, which is going to add $750 million per second, which is like five times what we're getting now. So we're basically at a billion dollars every second, just under. So we can already buy another wristwatch that basically doubled our earnings. And I know the time is going quicker and quicker, but we've played for over a month so far. Uh, one month and 46 days, uh, if I'm reading that correctly, which seems odd when I say it out loud. But who am I to complain? I don't know anything about anything. I did just increase my bubble bonus, so that's now worth, wow, about $15 billion. I'll take that. More wristwatches. More wristwatches again. So each wristwatch costs $16 billion. That takes four seconds. I mean, they will get more and more expensive, but I'm just going to auto-click this for a sec, and then this, and then this, and then all of these and auto click myself backwards for a second that actually kind of seemed to spawn more bubbles so buying these will actually spawn these which is kind of worth it because that was like a hundred billion dollars just from clicking on this thing and this thing so these really pay for themselves um i think i might have found an exploit because this seems unreasonably unfair now it looks like a helicopter let's spend 151 billion on these are cheap and then we watch the bubble party go so we click on them for 50 billion dollars so the basic upgrades are now into the billions, with the exception of this one at 265 million. But we can still click on that a few times for some bubbles. And that gives us another 50 billion dollars, so I think that more or less pays for itself. We'll take more clicking power, so we're up to 32,000 per click. Still not great. Oh, the cuckoo clock is only 40 billion. Didn't realize we were already there. Uh, that's giving us 4 billion, so we're now making 14 billion a second. The clicking really doesn't do anything. It makes this shake, it makes me feel good but it's not really making a difference money wise but we can increase the clock speed by 50 percent now that minute hand is flying uh we're gonna buy some more cuckoo clocks 
because that's going to help our earnings in a big way and we get more bubbles. $250 billion from those, which means we buy more cuckoo clocks. And then we're going to spend the remaining money on whatever is the cheapest upgrade for now because that's going to get us closer to more bubbles. Okay, we're going to buy more clicking power again. Not sure why, but like I said, I just like to click on things. And more cuckoo clocks for a second. Those take big bites there. $63 billion every single second. That's not bad money. Which is push us up to 1.5, I guess, quadrillion? It's really trillion, but we'll just go with Qs. 80 billion. Now we're making 142 billion every second, so it takes us like 6-7 seconds to make a Q or a trillion dollars. We're going to get faster clock speed. So we're going through the days and months pretty quickly now. We're going to buy another fireplace. Uh, that was like a 50% boost to earnings because we clearly needed the help. We're going to do that again. That was like a 30% boost to earnings. Whatever the case, it's $302 billion a second. It takes three seconds to make a trillion dollars, also known as 1Q. I'm going to increase clicking because it doesn't seem that expensive anymore. So we're now making 131000 every time we click. And then I'm going to buy more fireplace clocks just because I can. Now it takes less than two seconds to make 1Q and that's going to add up a lot over time. It is starting to take a bit of time to save up for these, like this is 50 Qs, this is 1.7 big Qs, and they just get bigger and bigger from there. But we got some more bubbles, those are worth 5 Q by themselves. And that's where the auto clicker can come in and help us with that bubble bonus of ours. Because it only takes a few seconds to get that, uh, we're already a quarter of the way to the next one by the time the bubbles even show up, there's another 5 Q. And the money value here really doesn't make any difference at all, but there's enough for the pocket watch. We get 3600 time bucks. I. Um, whatever. It's a big increase. Or something? I'm not really sure what that did. Is this one just broken? I feel like it didn't actually increase anything. Uh, I, unless it helps our bubble bonus. I guess we can spawn one of those and see what happens. Okay, there's our bubble bonus. What are we getting here now? 1Q, 1Q, so that didn't actually change. So, I don't really know what to do with this. Because it's only 3,600 time bucks. I, these are apparently all time bucks, but 3,600 isn't much against a 40, 542 billion. So we'll increase the clock speed for now, and maybe, I don't know, power of clicking. Then I guess I'm gonna just try and save up for the long case clock, because that's gonna be the kind of money we need. So here's the deal. We've saved up 434Q, which is about a quarter of what we need for the long case clock. That took a long time, so I'm gonna buy... I don't really want to buy that, because I think that's bugged. So we're gonna buy as many of these as we can to hopefully get our earnings up there a little bit higher. Uh, these also get us uh, 20Q now every time that lands, and we're definitely making better money. But it's still going to take a long time to make the 1.7 big Q we need. It is month 2042 and we have the money we need for the long case clock. And that's going to boost my earnings by like 100 times. To sort of put that into perspective, we basically already made the money back in a few seconds that it just took us a long time to make once. So our earnings have just gone absolutely bananas. So in saying that, we're going to buy a few more of those long case clocks to make even more money again. So we're up to 290 uh, Q per second, which is, I think, quadrillion. It's a really big number. That's all I know. And to get the next upgrade, all we need is 50 Q, which isn't that many. And the bubbles are now getting us 560 small case Q. Uh, let's also increase the bubble bonus a few times. Uh, well, the clock speed for sure. <laughs> that thing's going crazy. I've gone back to the original clock. Not entirely sure why, but I did it. We're going to buy more long case clocks. That got us more bubbles, which are now worth 1.3 big Q each. And it only takes us two seconds to earn a big Q at this point. So our earnings are just going upwards exponentially. And we just broke the 50 uh, Q that we need to buy the street clock, which is going to get me 2 Q per second. So... That's actually a huge increase. We're now making about five times as much. Five times earnings is a huge jump, so we're going to make the clock even quicker a few times. We're on month 3000 pretty soon. We're going to increase everything we can. 4.1 million per click. Uh, the clicks by themselves still aren't going to make money. I doubt they ever will, but they'll get me the bubbles, which get me 25 big Qs. So I'll buy another street clock, which didn't quite double our earnings again, but pretty close. Every time we click now, we're going through apparently three months worth of time. So if we go like this, yeah, we're going to go through light speed. And there's more bubbles. We're now getting 50 big Qs every time that happens. So let's increase the clock speed again. And probably increase our street clock a few more times. 8.5 big Qs a second. And so it only takes like 10, 11, 12 seconds right now to be able to afford a new upgrade. And I kind of forgot there was a two times bonus thing we could have been utilizing this whole time. So I've gone ahead and initiated that now because look at our earnings go. So that means we can buy a few more street clocks for sure, which pushes our bubble meter way up, and we'll finish it off with that, and now the bubbles are worth 50 big Q each. So if we use our auto clicker, we'll get more bubbles, and that's just going to do good things for us. 1S. 1.1S. And I think after this little herd of bubbles, 
We're going to have about enough to buy the mightiest of clocks, Big Ben, and that's going to give us a crazy boost in earnings again. 260 big Q, so we make 1 S in less than 4 seconds. So we're going to make the clock even quicker several times and then get me a bigger bubble bonus. And bubbles are now worth 630 big Qs each and we're running big bends quick. This auto clicker sure makes things easier. Considering we're making like 1 septillion dollars a second or something currently. We made 40.41 S's so let's buy some more big bends and that's going to push our earnings way up again. We're now making almost 2 S's per second. And bubbles are worth 4.1 S's each so 20 S's every time we get a bubble bonus which is often. We'll make the clock quicker and we'll increase the clicker a little bit. But I think we're not done there. I'm just going to auto-click Big Ben. I don't know how many that was. 2.4 S's a second, which it should be more than enough to get us to the digital watch. I did another two times bonus, so for now our earnings are inflated, but we're going to buy digital watch. We're going to go from 4.8 S to 20.8 S, so that's like five times earnings. Which means the bubbles are now worth a lot. 125 S's. And the bubble bonuses are coming around quickly. We're going to spend a little bit here, so now we're making uh, 69 million S's a second. Which is definitely pretty insane. I'm definitely trying to take advantage of my two times earnings right now. We're going to do the bubble bonus. We're going to get the clock speed a whole bunch. We're going to buy more of those. 100 S's a second. So it'll only take 100 seconds to afford this smartphone, which is the next upgrade. Uh, the bonus wore out, so double that time, but still not long. Especially when I get another bubble bonus, but also buy more digital watches. That many. We basically just double our earnings again. But the bubbles are now worth 254 S's each. So 1.25 big S's every time the bubbles appear. A few seconds later, we have enough to buy a smartphone, so that's going to get us 600 S's per second. So that's seven times our earnings from where we just were. So we can already afford basically another smartphone upgrade already, and it's only been a couple of seconds. That number also went up in a big amount. There's another smartphone <laughs> times two. So the earnings are just kind of running away on themselves. We're going to upgrade our clock and our bubble bonus, and we're going to buy more smartphones. Pretty much just going to let the auto clicker do the work. But we've also gone through 112,000 months at this point, so that number is also going up sort of ridiculously quick. We're officially at uh, 6 S's, big S's per second. And you know what? Let's spend another 450 on smartphones. That was pretty much all the way to the next upgrade, but I wanted to see what it would be worth. Uh, you know, there's 35 S's a second. Uh, I think I broke the thing because it's not really giving me a currency anymore. It's just 1.7 vaguely whatevers. Oh, we can buy the fitness bracelet though. Didn't realize we already got there. That's going to give me 5 big S's a second, which is a massive, massive increase. I'm starting to kind of lose like the scale for how big these numbers are, but they're just really, really big. So we're about to get uh, one whatever unit is it doesn't show anymore. We need 300 of those to get a smartwatch. I like how we just go so far, it doesn't even give you a valuation anymore. Just 2.2, something enormous. But we can increase the clock speed for sure, because I don't know what that does, to be honest. But it does something. Mm, this last upgrade is going to be a little bit hard to get. But we're going to buy some more fitness bracelets. That didn't even move my thing. Wait, am I reading this right? 35S, is that a big or a small S? Is the smartphone actually better? Yeah, okay, the smartphone's apparently better, because it's seven times the earnings here for some reason. I don't really know what to make of that, but I don't really care at the same time. Let's just go like that then. That's just going to help us along. We're going to auto-click that. Plus, that's going to get us... Wow, we can buy a lot of those. I think the price maxed out, so I think we can just kind of endlessly buy these. And because the price is maxed, they pay for themselves, like, instantly. So, that's a bit of an exploit, I guess. More time, more bubbles, more smartphones. Bubbles, time, and smartphones really are all you need in life anyways. Yeah, I'm not really sure what's happened, but I'm not going to complain because we're about to be up to one mystery unit per second. And we've crossed that line to 300 whatevers, so that means we can buy a smartwatch. Which means we bought all the watches. That gives me 12 S's per second, at least I think it is. Could we have afforded that the whole time? Was I misunderstanding that? I'm kind of curious to see what happens once we hit a thousand mystery units. If we get a new letter, or we just kind of start over, or it just goes into- Okay, it's one N suddenly. <laughs> one N. Which might be no nillion, or it might be nothing at all, because this game doesn't make sense anyway. But we played through 194 million months to get here, so there's always that. 